to my favourite spot, operating portable, this time 40 metres CW. We're trying out a newly built rig. It's not completely finished, but it is on air. Its direct conversion does 40 and 20 metres and puts out about 3 watts. The transceiver is still under development. The main tuning control is a two gang variable capacitor. One gang is used for each band. There are two variable frequency crystal oscillators. One on 7 MHz and the other on 14 MHz. The 14 Meg one uses a 14.060 Meg crystal and the 7 Meg one uses a 7.030 Meg crystal. Two crystals are used in parallel in each stage to increase the frequency swing. On 40 metres I can get over 20 kilohertz shift and on 20 metres over 40 kilohertz shift. As well as two crystal oscillators there are also two buffer stages. One is for the transmitter and the other is for the receiver. The receiver down here is a direct conversion. There's the RF amp, there's a four diode double balance mixer, an audio preamp and finally an LM386 audio amplifier. There's an RF choke in series with the headphone lead. That provides a little bit of audio filtering. The transmitter itself has only two stages after the buffer, a driver and a final. The final is an IRF510 and it puts out about three watts. The driver is a BD139. At the back of the box is the Pi network and the transmit receive relay. In between is the band switch. There are some quite long leads but they're not switching RF. Instead they're switching DC voltage to the two oscillators. The shorter leads switch the Pi network and also the receiver front end. That's why I put the band switch at the back of the cabinet. The noise on 20 metres is very high, probably coming from the power line over there. Luckily 40 metres is a lot quieter.
uh, radio transmitter. Oh, yeah? Yep. So I'm talking to people uh, um, Yeah, that's right, yep. Yeah. Uh, I got food to a guy in New Zealand. Oh, really? Yeah.